So I've taken to doing my video diary um, under trees in the desert for, uh, for the obvious reason. Um, so I had an amazing night at um, Kasbah Marabout. Um, it was my friends uh, that I met in Middelt. Uh, thank you Jordi the Catalan uh, for recommending that place. Really, really awesome. Great, great welcome. Um, awesome food and big highlight was uh, when they switched the lights off um, we're in the middle of the desert and the, the view of the stars was just breathtaking so um, really really cool today I am basically heading across uh, another salt flat or a dry lake bed um, and I was told this morning to expect uh, a bit more fresh fresh about 200 meters or so uh, hit a little bit more than that um, but luckily enough there was a very friendly local chap who helped get me over the last literally the last hurdle so um, so thank you very much for that um, and apparently from here on in once you reach the uh, lake bed you're on easy street so um, really happy to hear that because um, I had quite a hard fall yesterday uh, the bike was fine but and, and I'm, I'm fine <laughs> um, but um, uh, bruised my uh, uh, shoulder a little bit so um, feeling it today um, but um, definitely over the worst of it and genuinely really really glad that I did this but the bike is an, is an absolute machine <laughs> it's fantastic I mean it's taken a bit of a, a beating and this is I tried to wash it this morning it sort of failed miserably but um, yeah the bike's been phenomenal really really happy with the bike um, just goes and goes and goes I'm um, probably going to have to give it a proper once over when I get back, but every, you know, no hazard lights, no issues. Um, the only issue I had is, is really the weight, which is not really the bike's fault. But then again, it's lighter than the GS, so I um, don't know what the GS guys do. But anyway, so yeah, here I am. Uh, in the far distance there, there's a giant lake bed. Hopefully I've got enough fuel and water to see me across it, but... Um, Apparently it's so flat you can go as fast as you want, so um, you can have some fun doing that. So I finally did it. I made it to the edge of the off-road section and I'm reliably told that where that mast is, there is asphalt. So top riding tips for in the de being in the desert. One, bring lots of water. Two, double or treble the amount of time you think it's gonna take. Three, probably find a guide. Uh, and then in terms of riding tips, remember when you get to the soft sand, um, you need to let the pressure down on your tyres. It's incredible the amount of difference that makes. Um, so you want to go from, if you're at two and a half bar, go down to about one bar. Um, and also, um, your natural tendency is going to be to get a deft grip on the handlebars. Keep reminding yourself to, uh, to loosen your grip um, and think of it like skiing. So you want to, uh, the only difference between skiing and uh, riding in sand is you want to be leaning back not leaning forwards. So lean back, tight, loosen your grip, stand up, keep the weight down on the bike. And, um, and when you get to the soft stuff, 
apply some uh, apply some power and go as quickly as you can safely obviously uh, and you will make it through and if you don't make it through and you get stuck and um, that's where that's where help comes in so you either put rocks underneath the uh, wheels um, and hope that give you enough traction to get a bit of momentum or you get somebody to push the bike while you uh, while you give it some anyway those are my tips for riding in the sand I'm just uh, redoing the uh, tyre pressure. I went down to about one bar, I'm going up to uh, 2.9 and 2.5 front. Yeah.